Frederick Law Olmsted Society, the Brookfield Zoo, and Hinsdale Humane Society are organizations that educate our communities by taking action for the benefit of the world. Learn more about the mission of these groups on this edition of For the Fauna. The Village of Riverside was created by Frederick Law Olmsted in 1869 as a place of refuge and rejuvenation from the stresses of modern urban living. Today, in our increasingly fast-paced and stressful society, we, in the Olmsted Society of Riverside, believe that we need places like Riverside more than ever. The Society is dedicated to sustaining Olmsted's vision for generations to come. Its members are guided by his concern for humanity, nature, and sense of community, and the innovative and thoughtful essence of his work. The Olmsted Society invites you to join us in three major endeavors. First, learning more about our village and related topics through our tours, lecture series, and educational programs. Second, protecting the environment in coordination with the village of Riverside. And third, preserving our cultural and physical heritage through landscape workdays, replenishment of trees and native plants, and involvement in special projects impacting Riverside's parks. Together, if we are successful, we can continue to maintain the Riverside Olmsted originally intended as a great place to live. The Frederick Law Olmsted Society of Riverside was founded in 1968 as a not-for-profit organization by Robert W. Heinrich and other preservationists who sought actively to secure national historic landmark status for Riverside. The purpose of the organization, as defined in the Articles of Incorporation, is to promote the general welfare, preserve the cultural, physical, and governmental heritage of Riverside, educate its citizens in the heritage of the village, encourage citizen participation in all aspects of village life, and establish active historical study of Riverside. In 1970, Riverside was designated a National Historic Landscape District by the United States Department of the Interior, but the work of the Society was not over. That year, the Society published Riverside, a Village in the Forest, a brochure still sold by the Society today. Membership in the Olmsted Society is open to anyone who cares about the incredible physical and cultural heritage of the village. If you live in Riverside, you should definitely become a member. The Olmsted Society is working with the village of Riverside to help beautify our green spaces, massive parks along Riverside Road, in Swan Pond, and in Indian Gardens follow the meandering Desplaines River. Scottswood Common and the Long Common appear to flow into these parks and serve as the backbone of Riverside's landscape architecture. This park system was intended to be part of a green space stretching all the way to downtown Chicago. And there are more than 30 smaller parks and triangles throughout Riverside which complement the main structure and provide changing vistas. Olmsted was truly a master of landscape architecture. Olmsted's plan can be better realized by reducing shrub overgrowth eliminating invasive plants such as garlic mustard and buckthorn, and opening up the river view. Join fellow residents to tame and then maintain our public parks. All workdays are scheduled for Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Come for an hour or three, whatever your schedule allows. Supervised children are welcome. Service hours are available. Just bring work gloves and a water bottle. All other supplies and snacks will be provided. Dates and locations are posted on our website. Olmsted sets Riverside apart from all other communities in Chicago. The Olmsted Society works to foster and preserve the ideas of Olmsted, especially as his plans have played out in Riverside. If you're interested in environmental issues, landscape architecture, or architectural preservation, I encourage you to join or renew as a member at olmstedsociety.org. For instance, the recent removal of the Hoffman Dam has greatly improved the water quality of the displays, increased biodiversity, and the quantity of fish. The Olmsted Society was active in the dialogue to encourage this process and the successful completion of the dam removal. 
As green space is continually chipped away at in urban areas, an independent community-based organization such as the Olmsted Society is essential to continue the legacy of Olmsted in Riverside. I encourage you to check us out at olmstedsociety.org and like us on Facebook. Thanks. For the Fauna is a public affairs project produced by students at Riverside Brookfield High School. The series is designed to promote an environmentally conscious and animal advocating society. To learn more about the mission of the Frederick Law Olmsted Society and to join as a member, visit olmstedsociety.org.